What's up, what's up, me squad, my gang, my family, my squad. And today, we're going to be reacting to some Thanksgiving stories. Now, you guys are wondering, why did it take you so long to do this? It's Sunday already. It's Thanksgiving was on Thursday. Well, let me tell you. I was at my grandma's house from Wednesday to Friday. Now... Yesterday was kind of busy for me. And the whole time I was at my grandmother's house, it was too loud to actually record. So, I ended up doing it today. Now, you caught me. Well, I caught myself at a bad time. But a good time. Because it's like... It's not dark outside, but because it's early for me, it's like, what time is it? It's 9-11. It's not dark outside, but it's like, I guess, rainy and gloomy. Or uh, maybe it's sunny out. I can't really see through my windows. Anyway, it's a perfect time because everybody's sleeping. There. It's quiet, so it's a good time. Anyway. We're getting to the story. This is my first time posting this story anywhere. I hope you can... ...this experience and apply it to... ...God forbid this would ever happen to you. I work for a company that forces me to travel a lot. I usually fly, but because I know how crazy airports are on holidays, I thought it would be a smarter decision to rent a car and drive home overnight. Avoiding the nightmare that would be an airport on Thanksgiving week. I started to drive home, and even though I was a little tired, I was able to cruise from about 11 p.m. to 3 a.m., as there were barely any cars on the road. Shortly after 3 a.m., I saw a van that was sideways in the middle of the road on the highway. Thankfully, I had my brights on and was able to see the vehicle with plenty of time for a safe stop. There was also an elderly man on the side of the road who was waving me down. Cautiously, I slowed down to the door stop. The woman walked up to my window and motioned me to roll it down. I rolled it down and it went like a making sure even her hand couldn't get in the car. In an old cracking voice, she said, Please help me change my tire. I glanced over and saw that she nah. I'm sorry, find somebody else. I ran over something and my tire became flat. You ran over an antler. Go fix your tires, bro. I can't help you. I'm sorry. I reluctantly got out of the car and walked by the van and said she needed to move it to the side of the road for safety. I told her that there was no way I could change a tire in the middle of the highway in the middle of the night. She agreed and moved it out of the road to the side of the highway. As I began to change the tire, I had a million things running through my mind. Number one being, I had to be the one to get the flag down. I was almost finished taking the flat tire off, and I noticed I didn't see the woman anymore, as I was providing my own life source with my cell phone and looked up to ask if she could assist, and she was gone. I looked all around the vehicle and didn't see anybody. Nothing but pitch black darkness other than my headlights, which were providing some light in the general direction. So lucky for me, I had my keys in my pocket and locked my car door when I got out. I walked back over to my car, and the woman was there trying to get into my vehicle. I told her to get away from my car before I called the police. Mm -hmm. She laughed at me. And said it would be at least 30 minutes until... I'm sorry, I'm a smack of old lady, bro. Just as I was trying to get this crazy person away from my car so I could leave, I noticed a man get out of the... Trying to get the crazy woman that of your car. You're staring that at her, bro. You're staring at her. It's not going to get her off your car. Obviously. Damn. He must have been laying on the floor because... I didn't see anybody sitting in the seats when I walked by to begin the process of changing a flat. The man seemed to be of average build. He started to approach me, his hand in his pocket, which really started to make me worry about my safety. You worried about your safety? You started worried about your safety when the old lady was there. 
I was able to shake her off quickly and elbow her directly in the throat. She began to cry and the to impress me that she didn't break and needed to get away. The guy who was approaching us devoted his life to her. Your old lady, bub. Are you thinking you're going to be able to hold him down? I have never driven this fast in my entire life. The adrenaline from the events fueled me for the remainder of my trip home. My kitty scared me. I have all my headphones. And I keep making the floor bounce when they run. How idiotic of a decision it was to get out of my car. I'm just glad that I was able to get out of that situation unharmed and get home with the family. The police reports were called. I unfortunately never got any further information. Mm -hmm. I would have glanced at my place. It may have helped in identifying them later. And please let this be a lesson. In a situation that can affect your safety. Mm -hmm. I was basically eating through the whole story. Okay, look. Remember how I said it was too loud? You guys don't know how many times I watched this same video. And then the time to get a video for you guys. I watched this video so many times. So if I have the time being, it's eight stories, so I'm going to take like 30 minutes if I don't talk as much. Also, I'm planning on not to. So, I'll be back. Because of me, myself, I'm about to put my camera on. Alright, so I got my camera on now. So, let's uh, finish this. Truly scary to many of you. At the time, I didn't really find it scary or terrifying. Myself. I have to do more editing to blur things out. Until I shared this with others and got their perspective. I'd be interested to see what the many comments and comments regarding this experience. For like little kids in my family, probably watch my videos and then I don't want to. It's like, ooh, I don't have to pay for nothing. I don't have. In college, and at first, she was great. We shared similar interests and hobbies. We clicked instantly, and for the first time, I was excited to meet the friends and my other. I was going to meet them on Thanksgiving so that everyone could have dinner together. They never really mentioned their family, so I was excited and intrigued when she asked me to join her for the holiday. Fast forward a week or so, and Thanksgiving finally came. I drive to her parents' house, and my first thought as I approached the house is, Wow, this place is huge. For real? It was a gigantic brown mansion. It was very large, but also looked very old. My best comparison is if you have ever seen the movie Clue. The outside of the house looked very similar to that, a mix between mansion and castle almost. I have never seen the movie Clue. Was greeted by a strange looking guy. He was short and five foot flat. He was bald and wearing an eye patch. I said, Hey, uh, is Kay here? I'm a boy. He just proceeded to look at me and didn't answer. After a few awkward seconds, Kate walked over and happily greeted me and left me inside. As we walked away, she said in her soft voice, Eugene Crab. I guess she's like your dad's friend or something. Or mom's friend. The ceilings were really high and the walls were covered with religious iconography. I wasn't raised with the religion, so some of the images were foreign to me. Kay and I arrived and sat in what I assumed was the living room. There was no TV, no radio, just couches and some paintings all over the wall. The paintings seemed to cram together, trying to fit them all on the wall. And I'm a choice for such a nice home. After a couple of minutes, her parents walked in. Her dad was clean-shaven with wild flowing hair and glasses that were just big enough for his eyeballs. And her mom had long black hair that went all the way down to her back and reached her legs. It looked like they were in the mid-sixties if I had to guess. I was introduced and we made small talk. 
it really wasn't that bad, there was no awkward pauses, but the parents were not what I expected. This is a little strange, or eccentric, I guess. Well, before this happened, I was about school. Hey, hey, get away from my toes. Facebook is for boomers. That's scary. Yeah, I never take that as scary. I take that as you being paranoid and leaving your girlfriend for no reason. Oh, you're just paranoid like a stupidity person. That's a girl. <laughs> yep, Rody ad. Just Rody ad. Zen. There's only one person.
One, okay. My guy said small hole. Nah, that hole must have been bigger, big as freak. Like so big that hole could have punched a hole in that wall. Cause ain't no way, no way that he made a small hole and that box came out of it. That that box right here, that that box right there. Ain't no way that box came out of that hole, which I cannot see. The hole is huge, not small at all. I try to sugarcoat it. Anyway. That's a girl. Who is that's not a boy. That's a girl. That's a boy. Twenties, fifties, and hundreds. Rich, rich. Why are you jumping so much, bro? Yeah, man, hyperactive right now. 
Y'all don't play well. I want y'all to play. Running super duper fast today. Stinky, stinky, stinky. to go after the intruder. Some people rely on their dogs to protect them. How is that going to save your life? I'm going to stab him with the screwdriver. Freaking phone vibration. That was going to be the last story for today, but the poacher or the imposter, as I would like to call him, that person was there in a the backyard. Is he assuming that the skunks came from him and maybe he used skunks to try to get into the house and steal? Anyway, I'll be back. Okay, guys, so today's episode is going to be ended by telling you how you can get three free items from doing something so simple, but also really hard. You see, now, the simple thing. You guys probably already know about this, but if you don't, let me tell you. Basically, you can get something called a bombastic bling from completing challenges. Now, this is for a Ready Player 2 event. If you watch Ready Player 1, then you probably know what this is. But yeah, it's for a Ready Player 2 event. Don't mind my character. Alright, so, what you have to do, guys, is you have to be at the school before 8.05, and you have to sit down in a librarian chair until 8.05 to get the key. Now, that is not the hardest part, but it is for me, because I have to wait a lot of time to get that key. This is my weirdest creation ever of trying to make Sonic. Hopefully, I've not failed. It's not that bad. 
it's an abomination. Anyways, I guess I'll come back to you when it's like five. It's gonna be a while. Alright, guys, so instead of coming back to you when it's five, because that'll be too long for me, I'll probably for even forget to undo it. Whatever. I'm just gonna show you what you need to go once you get the key. So, what? Come here before 805. You sit in this chair right here. You look behind, and once it hits around 805, I believe, it's gonna, it's gonna key is just gonna pop up. And once that key pops up, you take the key. And you want to go here. I go classrooms. It's by the lunchroom. I want to make this turn right here. And right here. This is the room. Now look. Dang it. see that right there now that is the portal that's gonna take you to an obby when you do the obby what you want to do is I guess they make it a little easier on you all right so dress up Go to oh, well, you go to tuning, but I already haven't saved this outfit. What you want to do is make all your body parts skinny from tuning. But here's what I did I did that. I went to outfits because I saved that as an outfit. Stick. Yeah, my guy's just extremely skinny. So, yeah, that's how you get the bombastic bling. And I'll show you guys pictures of it. Alright, now this is the bombastic outfit. You get the bombastic bling. That. And then you get the bombastic hoodie and the bombastic pants. Now, there's also other things that you can get. Like the basic book. And the crown of madness. I'll show you images of those right now. This is the crown of madness outfit. Which I kind of like more than the bombastic bling. I don't know why, but kind of. Might be a bond a little bit. Anyways. And this right here is the basic book. Also, if you go to a Ready Player 2 event place, you, if you spawn in there, the first thing you will get is a book and a shirt. That's just like Blizzy on it. Not, that's enough for this video because it was kind of a combination of things. I'm just showing you guys how to get free stuff for Roblox, but like, without having the free stuff. <laughs> Weird. Anyways, um, subscribe. And as always, 